Hi everyone, I am Abhishek and in this video we are going to learn how to spin up Zookeeper and Kafka containers using Docker Compose. So if you are watching this video, I assume you have already some idea about Docker's and Kafka and Zookeeper and uh, also you have already installed uh, Docker desktop on your system. Okay. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I have this Docker Compose file using which we are going to spin three containers. One for uh, Zookeeper. Second container will be for Kafka. And uh, the third one will be a uh, calf drop. So if you don't know about calf drop, calf drop is a web UI for viewing the topics and brokers and messages published on various topics. Okay. So let's talk about some configurations which uh, I have used for these uh, these containers. So my first container is for uh, Zookeeper. So I'm using this image. You can use uh, whichever uh, uh, Zookeeper image you want. Uh, the configurations and parameters are going to be almost similar. So the uh, let's talk about the environment variables which we are going to pass for this container. So Zookeeper client port is 2181. So this is the port uh, on which Zookeeper uh, will be running. And uh, tick time is uh, 2 seconds. So uh, this is used by Zookeeper to do the heartbeat. And uh, these are uh, three different ports. 2181 is for uh, uh, where Zookeeper will be listening. And 2888 and 3888 are the ports which will be used by Zookeeper peers to talk to each other. Next, let's talk about our Kafka container. So again, I'm using uh, this uh, Kafka image. And uh, I am going to uh, make it listen on port 9092 okay so uh, these are some important uh, uh, environment variables which we should pass so that uh, the kafka configuration will be uh, updated accordingly so kafka broker id so let's say if you are uh, provisioning more than one Kafka containers. So every Kafka instance should have a unique broker ID. Mm. Next one is Kafka Zookeeper Connect. So yeah, this is the address for our Zookeeper. And uh, next is Kafka listeners. So this address will be used by brokers uh, to create uh, the server sockets. Okay. So here we have two uh, different addresses. One for uh, internal use within the container, one for the external communication. Okay. So the next is Kafka advertised listeners. So this address uh, will be used by clients to connect to the brokers. So next one is Kafka listener security protocol map. So this is nothing but it's a key value pair for a security protocol to use per listener name. Okay, so we have uh, two listeners, right? Uh, so for every listener, uh, what security protocol will be used so that we have uh, mentioned here. And uh, yeah, this one will be internal. So the next container is calf drop so I'm using this uh, container image and here I just need to pass all the addresses of Kafka uh, brokers right so here we have just one instance of Kafka so I'm just passing Kafka 29092 which is for the internal uh, to this dockers okay and I am going to run this application on port 9000. Let's go ahead and uh, spin up these containers. 
Docker compose up hyphen D. All right. So yeah, I think it's starting. So you can have a look at uh, the logs. Okay. And uh, about calf drop. So calf drop is also started and it is listening on port 9000. So yeah, our uh, Kafka and uh, Zookeeper are started and they are communicating to each other. So now let's browse this calf drop uh, web UI so that we can see uh, what are the different brokers and uh, yeah so as you can see here our uh, calf drop is up and you can see we have just one broker since we have only one uh, Kafka node all right so you can go inside this and you can uh, see what are the different uh, partitions every topic is assigned okay and uh, here you can also uh, create uh, new topics so let's say if i create a new topic like orders i can create that right i can go inside i can have a look at what is the offset and all right and if i go inside this I should be able to see any messages published to this uh, topic. Uh, this is pretty easy. Uh, so I'll, I'll also provide you the link for the Docker Compose file, which I have used in the description of this video. And you can try yourself. So that's all for this video. In next video, we'll learn how to provision a Kafka cluster with uh, more than one node. Thank you for watching. See you in next session.